So hi guys, I'm showing you how to do the kaleidoscope text on iMovie. So first you go to pickmonkey.com and you create a canvas size of 1280 by 720 and you just click apply. And then you go, you can choose any canvas color you want but I am just going to leave it white for this tutorial and you want to go to text and you just want to create a text um, and yeah you can use any font you like it's a little bit more complex in iMovie so yeah so I'm just using this font if you want, want to know where I got this font from I got it from thefont.com and I can put, I'll put the link in the description box below just if you want to download this font it's a pretty popular font so I'm just uh, typing the text tutorial and you want to make it as big as you can um, so that when you use it in your videos it will be big and you want to change the text color to like a nice bright green and so that you can use it as green screen um, green screen blue screen in iMovie and I'm just making it a little bigger here so that it will be easier to it will just you just be big and nice on ice I, in I, on iMovie sorry about that and you just want to save the image and yeah you can save it the best quality but I'm just leaving it in that um, medium size quality and just save it and then after that you want to open up iMovie and I just have some previous projects there. You also want to have a kaleidoscope um, like imported into your um, iMovie and I am just finding for that. Sorry about that. It's just being so long. Okay. And um if you want to know where I got my kaleidoscope, it's actually from Gabriel Marie. She's a really great YouTube channel, and I put all her link in my description in almost every video. So yeah, you can check her out, and also and she has many many kaleidoscopes. So that's a little bit of error there. So um, you want to put your kaleidoscope below your green screen. I mean below your text, and then you want to go choose the effect from cutaway to green screen blue screen and now it's gonna play in your video like this and it's a pretty great trendy way to actually set your titles and it's pretty interesting and um, if you find the kaleidoscope is moving too slow you can always speed it up um, by just increasing the speed since I don't really use iMovie, I kind of like forgot how you change the speed, so just don't mind that. <laughs> um, but I'll be sure to do more iMovie tutorials for you guys if you are using iMovie, so yeah, stay tuned for more iMovie tutorials and leave some comment requests down below. And yeah, so I'm just changing the speed fast to times two. So it's just a way faster and yeah. Okay guys, so this is the Final Cut Pro one. For this one, you don't really need anything. You can actually do it on FCPX itself. So first, you just kind of go to custom background and just get custom. Um, just a plain black one. You can actually change the color, but since I already did a white one, I'm just gonna do like a black one here. And you just wanna go create a basic title and just place it on top of the custom that you created. And I'm just typing text tutorial, but later I just decided I just wanted text, and then just wanna make it big. And I'm just changing the font to Babus. Again, this font is also f can be found on thefont.com. I'll put the link in the description box below so you can go and download this font if you already haven't 
also another really popular font that people use in thumbnails and in a lot of um, big universe in their videos they use this font and you want to change the color to a bright green or just like a normal green um, this one make sure it's on a brighter side so it can be used in as green screen again um, and you want to select the two clips by holding shift um, and then we right click and click new compound clip and then it's gonna combine those clips together and I'm just gonna take this um, kaleidoscope that I got from Gabriel Marie and place it below and then you wanna take Kia on top of the kaleidoscope um, text and so that it's gonna key out the green screen and then you have your um, your kaleidoscope text so now it's just gonna be faster and yeah so so that's how you do the kaleidoscope text on iMovie. I mean, sorry, Final Cut. Thanks for watching. This is another example here that I'm doing. So I'm just doing another one and I'm just showing you guys that it can be done on any color, basically, background. And yeah, so it's pretty simple and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and yeah.